everyone, it's Heather Nichols. I have the cutest set of cards to share with you today that I mass produced using the Somewhere Over the Rainbow kit from Tailored Expressions. From the kit, I use the rainbow die as well as the cloud die that has the pierced edged detail on it. I also use the stamp set and what I used from the stamp set was that smiley face and some of the sentiments that are in the set as well as the hearts. I used one of the stitched rectangle stacklet dies. I used the third size down from the largest if you want to use the same size that I did. For ink, I used Oreo and Sugar Cube. I also used Sugar Cube ink refill, which I dripped on an acrylic block, and I'll use a water brush. I used an X-Acto knife along with a ruler. Finally, I used some of the sticky foam squares to pop some of the elements up on my project. Are you ready to see how easy it is to make eight cards at once using the Somewhere Over the Rainbow kit? Let's get started. I'm using four colors to die cut my rainbow. I'm using Cherry Pop, Candy Corn, Lemon Meringue, and Lime Zest. I'm backing each of these with stick it so that I don't have to worry about how I'm going to attach the rainbow pieces to my project. They'll already have adhesive on the back. So I peel the paper backing off and I'll stick it right to the back of each of these colors and then I will run the rainbow die through with each of these colors right through my die cut machine. Next I'll die cut clouds for my project using the pierced edge detail die from the kit. I'm using eight clouds for the ends of my rainbows and then I'll also cut another eight clouds to use in the sky a little bit later on. For the first group of eight clouds, I'm stamping the smiley face onto them using Oreo ink. I've set up a template in my Misty and I'll set the stamp where I want it on the cloud. Once I get it where I want it, I'll close the lid of the Misty to pick up the stamp on the lid. I'll ink up the stamp with Oreo ink and then I will stamp it onto the cloud. I'll repeat the process to stamp all eight clouds. Okay, back to the rainbows. I'm punching out all of the pieces from the different colors that I die cut with the rainbow die. I'll arrange these into four different rainbow combinations using all four colors. Here's how I created eight rainbows out of four rainbows. I took two of the stitched rectangle stacklets that I talked about at the beginning of the video and they're die cut from saltwater taffy cardstock. I'm lining them up on my cutting mat. You're going to line them up so there's just the slightest space in between the two stacklets. You can use the lines on a gridded cutting mat and just make sure that only the line is showing between the two pieces for the perfect amount of space. I'm using removable tape to attach a negative die cut piece over the top of the two so that half of the rainbow goes on one rectangle and half of the rainbow goes on to the other. Next I'll attach those rainbow arcs right into that negative die cut piece. I've already got adhesive on my die cut pieces because I put stick it on the cardstock before I ran them through my die cut machine. Once all of the pieces are attached, I'll remove that negative die cut and I'll use an X-Acto knife to cut the rainbow in half right in that space between the two rectangle stacklets. Using a ruler is really helpful to make sure you're cutting your rainbow straight. I'll repeat this process using the other three rainbows. I'll stamp the sentiments underneath my rainbows. On one side of the rainbow I'm using Oh Happy Day and on the other one I'm using Shine Bright from the included stamp set. I'll stamp these in Oreo ink after I get them all lined up in my Misty. I'm stamping hearts in sugar cube ink onto the saltwater taffy background. It's a really subtle effect but adds a really nice texture to the project. My project wouldn't be complete without a few spatters of white ink. I've dripped some sugar cube ink refill onto an acrylic block. I'll pick that up with a water brush and then I'll tap the brush on my finger to spatter white ink onto my project. I'm attaching each of the rectangles to a mat that is cut from sugar cube cardstock. I'm using foam squares to attach those happy little clouds to the bottom of each of my rainbows. Next I'll attach the pieces to a toffee card base and then I realized that that space on the side of the rainbow was a bit too wide for me and so I went back and cut eight more clouds and trimmed them so that they could sit right on the edge of that wider side. 
And there you have it, eight cards created from four rainbows using the Somewhere Over the Rainbow kit. I have lots of friends that I know will just love receiving these sweet rainbow cards in their mailboxes. You can find the supplies to create this project in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and I'll see you next time.